People today have many questions about the Bible, questions about its authenticity, questions about its accuracy. Is it really a true and dependable source of knowledge, even so much as to historical events? In the past, one of the problems of substantiating and confirming the Bible as factual and trustworthy has been the lack of third-party evidence. However, in the last couple of hundred years or so, archaeologists have been hard at work uncovering some very important pieces of information, which are tools by which you can finally put this question to rest and prove it to yourself. One of these tools or discoveries has been the Pilate Inscription. The Pilate Inscription refers to some writing on a piece of limestone rock that was part of the amphitheater at Caesarea, Israel, which is marked here in this little red dot on this map. The inscription is thought to be associated with the dedication of a building to Tiberius Caesar Augustus. Several years ago, we, we visited this discovery site at Caesarea on the Sea and, and had the opportunity to photograph this replica of the inscription, as well as its translation, and we'll be referencing this just a little while later in this presentation. The significance of this piece of rock is simply this. A Roman official named Pontius Pilate is named in the Bible no less than 56 times in 54 verses, usually in connection with an event that is paramount to the very Christian belief itself, and that is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Now, the problem is that for centuries there was little reference to this individual outside of the pages of the Bible, and no official records in the annals of Rome, and no archaeological confirmation that such an individual ever existed. So the question is then, was the Bible wrong? Was this individual named Pilate a real living first century person and Roman official, or was this person simply the result of some biblical writer's imagination? There was no information extent to this point of time to indicate differently, other than some very brief and vague references by a couple of Jewish and Roman historians. But then in 1961, some Italian archaeologists digging in the area of Caesarea came across this rock containing this inscription and it's contained in four lines on this rock and we'll take them line by line so line one the translation works out to to the divine augusti this tiberium or in effect this inscription was dedicating a building named they are called a tiberium to emperor tiberius caesar augustus Line 2 contains the name, translates to the name Pontius Pilate. And in effect, this simply indicates that Pilate's family name was Pontius, and that it was he, Pontius Pilate, that was in charge of making this dedication. The third line translates to Prefect of Judea, or in effect, indicating that Pilate's position was that of governor of Judea, which is what prefect means. And the fourth line says, has dedicated this, or in effect, this inscription had to do with a dedication. So putting it all together, it reads something like this, to the divine Augusti, Pontius Pilate, prefect or governor of Judea, has dedicated this Tiberium or this building. And looking at the plaque that we had photographed or shown the photograph of a few slides ago, it looks like this. Pontius Pilate, the prefect of Judea, erected a building dedicated to the emperor Tiberius. So what this tells us is that this inscription confirms the accuracy of biblical references to Pilate. And we're going to take a, just a couple of examples of those 56 references that the Bible contains. And the first one we take is from Matthew 27, verse 2, and these are from the King James Version. 
and we see that it references there this individual calls him by name Pontius Pilate and this cross checks with the name contained in the inscription Pontius Pilate and the next couple of words in that verse is the governor Pontius Pilate the governor and this cross checks with what is contained in the inscription prefect or governor and it references Tiberius Caesar the emperor as does the inscription to the divine Augusti which was how people in those days regarded their emperor that they regarded him as a god he was divine and this is contained in the third chapter Luke verse 1 and in that chapter it also references the name Pontius Pilate cross checks with the inscription and then the next phrase is that he was governor of Judea which also is contained in the inscription that he was prefect or governor of Judea so in summary what this tells us is that in spite of Roman efforts to confine the memory of this man to oblivion a chance discovery by dedicated archaeologists uncovered this stone which gives testimony to the fact that firstly Pilate was a very real living powerful person who existed just as the Bible says in the time period of Jesus Christ and secondly Pilate was in a position to do the very things claimed of him in the Bible confirming the Bible to be not only a reliable source but for many hundreds of years one of the few historical records of this person for more information we ask you please don't just take our word about this prove it to yourself check out the sources go to your computer Google things like the Pilate inscription Pilate Tiberius etc and check out for yourself the information that comes up on your screen we have a couple of websites here key to Bible truth.com and Richard Bereans.com where you can go for more information Thank you for listening.